All right. Uh, these types of walkthroughs I typically do with blog posts rather than the podcast, but let's see what we can do here. First, log into your Vanguard account, right? Now you're looking at all your accounts. So the next step is going to be click on your taxable account. And once that pops up, uh, you'll be able to see that you have uh, some options at the top. There's some links there at the top, one of which is cost basis. So if you click on that, it'll allow you to look at the unrealized gains and losses or the realized gains and losses. Click on the unrealized gains and losses. Okay. Now scroll down to your taxable account. You'll find your holdings that are in your taxable account. You know, in my case, I've got some, uh, some iShares total stock market in there from the last time I tax loss harvested back in March of 2020. If you, on the left below uh, that ticker symbol, you'll see lot details. So click on that and expands. And what I see is that I have one lot there, basically the lot I bought in 20, March of 2020. And it, ha it is definitely green. It is a green long-term gain. That is probably never going to be able to be tax loss harvested. It, it's quite a gain since that date. And so I'm not gonna be able to tax loss harvest that. So I go down to my next holding. This one is uh, the iShares Total International stock ETF. I tax loss harvested into that again in March, 2020. I, I've got uh, two lots there. I think I accidentally bought it later that year as well. Um, but, uh, but you know, I have, I have gains there. It's green, it's not red. If you look at it there, you'll see that there's a short-term capital gain or loss period and a long-term capital gain or loss period. Either way, when there is a loss, it's red. When there's a gain, it's green. So nothing to tax loss harvest there for me. Go to my next holding. I've got some uh, Vanguard small cap value ETF. Okay, here we look at this and I've got, uh, looks like six lots of this particular holding. The first two, I have long-term capital gains on. The next three, I have short-term capital gains on. And the last one, I have a short-term capital loss on. I am currently uh, $3,700 underwater. So here is a candidate for tax loss harvesting. If I wanted to tax loss harvest this, I could. What would I do now? I would go in and put an order to sell this ETF, a sell order. I would sell all the shares I have of it there. It looks like I've got uh, almost a thousand shares of it there with slight loss. So I could sell that and then I'd turn around two minutes later and buy another small cap value ETF, maybe the iShares small cap value ETF or uh, you know that sort of a fund. And then I would have, ta I would have uh, booked that loss, that $3,700 loss I've got there, and I would be able to use that on my taxes. Remember, you can use up to $3,000 a year against your ordinary income and an unlimited amount against your capital gains. And so that's, that's an option. Uh, the next one I look at, I've got uh, some uh, Vanguard uh, uh, XUS small cap ETF. Uh, you know, I've got uh, seven tax losses there. Uh, five of them have gains or four of them have long-term gains. One has a short-term gain and then two of them have a slight loss. So that would be an option if I want to tax loss harvest those as well. If I look at my total stock market ETF, um, I've got a bunch of tax lots there. I've got nine tax lots. Six of them have uh, long-term gains. Three of them have short-term gains. Nothing to tax loss harvest there. I've actually got a slight loss on, uh, on a bunch of my um, uh, Vanguard Intermediate Term Tax Exempt Fund. This is a, in bond, mutu uh, a muni bond fund. And I've got uh, about five lots there with slight losses on them. Um, they're not big losses. Um, probably not really going to tax loss harvest those. And I look at uh, my last holding here, um, my total international stock market from Vanguard. I've got a whole bunch of tax lots here. I've got, uh, looks like, five with long-term gains, three with short-term gains, and three with short-term losses. Largest one there's, I've probably got about $20,000 worth of losses there. So that's one to think about tax loss harvesting, right? I could claim a $20,000 loss if I did this. And all I would do is I would sell VXUS. Two minutes later, I would buy IXUS, right? The iShares Total International Stock Market ETF. And I would have booked that $20,000 loss. I uh, hope that's helpful in how you do that. Now, the bigger question is whether it's worth bothering, right? I've got hundreds of thousands of dollars of losses right now that I booked back in March, 2020. And so uh, I'm not going to be able to deduct that against ordinary income. The only uses I'm going to have for that down the road is against uh, capital gains. You know, maybe if I 
uh, sell a bunch of stocks to live off of, or if I end up uh, selling the white coat investor, you know, that sort of a thing, I could use those losses to offset those gains. And so more losses may be more useful for me, but it's not like your first $3,000 a year, which are really useful losses. Um, and I'd be a lot more aggressive about harvesting these losses if if it was going to make a difference in my in my current tax bill but that twenty thousand dollar loss in the uh, vanguard international stock index etf is probably big enough for me to uh, to go after and, and harvest that so maybe i'll get that done later this week all right hope that's helpful to you and explains the process uh, it does make it easier you'll have fewer tax lots if you don't reinvest your dividends and capital gain distributions. I don't do that. All mine go into the money market fund and then I pool them together with the other money I'm going to invest the next month, whether it comes from the white coat investor, whether it comes from practicing medicine, whether it comes from another investment, I pool all that money together and I invest that the next month all into one one lump sum uh, uh, of one of the assets, whatever's lagging most in the portfolio. So in one month, I might put it all into the total international fund. The next month, I might put it all into the total stock market fund. The next month, I might put it all into small value, whatever, just to keep the number of tax lots down. And then, of course, if you've been listening for a while, you know what I tend to do with tax lots with a lot of appreciation is I use them for my charitable donations. And so that helps limit how many tax lots I'm managing. It helps me limiting, it helps me flush these capital gains out of the portfolio. And, uh, and overall, I end up coming out ahead uh, tax-wise than if I was giving cash instead of these shares. Hope that's helpful. Hope that walkthrough was beneficial. My dad, your host, Dr. Dahl, is a practicing emergency physician, blogger, author, and podcaster. He is not a licensed accountant, attorney, or financial advisor. So this podcast is for your entertainment and information only and should not be considered official personalized financial advice.